That's it. It's yeah, going, and, and the truth is what say. they don't want to hear. That America's going to be destroyed. Oh, I know that. And certain nations America's going to be destroyed before people even realize it. You're going to actually witness it. I'm going to be gone before it happens. No, no, it's about to happen. Oh, yeah. It's about to happen, and I guarantee you I will be in another country before it fucking happens. Why? Well, it's going to happen the, there, too. can't escape the destruction. It's good. The whole earth is going to be in an uproar, the whole entire earth, which it is well, right I'd now. I'd just die. Well, you know, ju you, you heard of the term judgment time. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to go through this. <laughs> no matter Everyone where you needs run to. Go to. It, but then who comes out on top? What the, happens after these that? These people. I got a scripture for that. One third of these people come up on top, but there's a, a, a there's an elect of the elect at 144,000. So which mountain do I go to? Which one? Which one? This one. Hey, this mountain right here. Ohio State is uh, totally undercover. Ohio State is not a public university. They are very much so a Christian university. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I know that too. And, and I got a scripture. Are you employed by the university? Oh no! Oh, no. See now, I'm yeah, we, we employees of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually think I did university and let my dumb ass go to one of these colleges? I don't question what the university does because I know the university is capable of a lot of things. Well, they're all ran by Freemasons and mm. Satanists, devil worshippers. Yes and no. Well, you got Greek fraternities on campus. <laughs> And there's also churches on every other street. <laughs> well, and there's also are... the Olin Tangy River Bridge. Have you ever gone and looked at the artwork that's on the sides mm, of it? I have. But these uh -huh. churches. What does it remind you of? What does it remind you of? Uh, yeah. I have pictures of it on my phone. You want to see it? Hey, get, yeah, get, why don't you refresh my memory? Yeah, you know, Bible out, get Acts 7 and 48. Because these churches are not, they have nothing to do with the Bible. No, they don't, but they're, they're, they're still something. instilling the idea of God. No, they're which, not. What God? Yeah, uh, God. Uh, uh, right. And, Odin. Okay, but for or the, Baal. Okay, but for the majority of the rich families yeah. who send their children here, mm -hmm. God is something that they can relate to. Hold on. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. These churches are. Uh, they're just whole houses, hardly houses. There's parts that I believe in. There's parts that I don't believe in. Right. Because you don't believe in that bullshit they teaching in the church. Right. That's all bullshit. It ain't got nothing to do with what the Bible's talking about. <laughs> like here, I was Well, I also think you have to take into recognition the fact that like the times that when the when the Bible was written, we live in a world now where survival is not our main instinct. So the world is different. So for people to understand like why like gay marriage is such an that? issue. You yeah. know, like I have a I have a brother who's gay. Oh man. So it's no, Tragic. it's 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 very hard. It's because I love him, and he's a great person. And it makes sense why you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to Obviously. do that. Obviously. Let me read the scripture right, for you. No, look, look at the artwork first. All right, what does this remind you of? There's the sign. There's a tree. There's an apple. He's picking the fucking apple. Yeah, I've, I've, I've watched tree though. And this guy is reading a book, and this guy's bowing down. Ready? But that, that's and nope, it has the nope. sunrise. Well, watch. And there's an obelisk. See okay. that? That's an obelisk. Right. And the guy's reading again. Go back to the other picture. That's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and that's the yeah, forbidden fruit. I know, fruit. I know what it you know is. What I mean? I'm, the, the, I'm showing you this because that's what All I'm right. saying. Ohio State is undercover. They're not a public university. Well, no. It's a Ohio State University. It's fun about it. Ohio State. Every single like architectural statement that they have has the 13 stars on it. It's Obama doesn't come here for no reason. America is coming. That's what I'm saying. America is coming. And what's and the song? You, you know what the notes are that are right here? America, America, God shed his grace on me and shine the good for motherhood. Yeah, America was found, formed by Freemasons. Yeah, I know that. I'm just saying that. And look, he's in a mountain with trees and clouds and wind and water. That's pretty bugged out. Yeah, and I don't think it was made by mistake. Hell no, it wasn't made by mistake. <laughs> of that took, that took, uh, right, that you think took, this, took thought. <laughs> what do you think the Statue of Liberty is? Right, I'm just saying. That's all. Let's hey. do a scripture. You said you had a scripture. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. You was talking about uh, what was going to happen when the destruction comes. When's it going to happen? How I soon? Okay, he gave you signs in the, in the Bible, gives you clues. He know that. The Lord said, okay. he, he said a parable, he told you, he said, when you see the clouds and the sky coming and the clouds are red and whatever, you know it's about a rain, there's gonna be a big storm. 
So how can you not discern the signs of the times? I mean, in Alaska, the ice is already melting so quickly that it's disrupting migrating patterns and... I don't know about all that. No, they don't have nothing I think some, it. Yeah, I think some of that is disinformation. Like, I've heard so other when signs... the entire world floods? I, no, 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 there's going to be no flood. There's going to be... There's going to be floods. No, it's going to... Well, there might be... There might be, yeah. There's going to be floods after, after the, the, gonna be like after no the nuclear missiles hit, there's going to be floods. Yeah, maybe what nuclear missiles? Because that's what's going to... Nuclear wars was coming. Okay, we got to show you these scriptures first right, before let me we read go this into that. This, okay. this was going to happen after the smoke cleared, right? Right. This is Revelation. So how many years are we talking? We don't we know. We don't know we're that. talking soon. It ain't years from now. I, I got, know it's soon. It can like happen said, next week. You just got to be able to discern the signs of the time. Well, I'm a very intuitive person, so I'm sure yeah, that'll well, happen. Use your intuition. No. Revelation. <laughs> 2 and 26 <laughs> and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end when there's works we're doing the work right now and this is a man's job the woman's not required to do what we do i don't you, like that well you're not required to do this, this is this not your you're job not is to required. take care of the men so if you wanted to help what is do my the job works, then? you can make me a garment your you know job now in this world, well, you can buy you know. me some shoes. In this That's world, in, well, in this world, <laughs> in this world, in this world, yeah, your I'm job is to just do what you shoes. want. <laughs> this world, this world, your job just do what you want to do. Just do what you want. Just do what you want to do. That's a, I already do that. Okay, that's your job <laughs> now in this world. You know, the, the job of a woman is to uh, help support the truth and push. You know what? You know what I disagree with that though. I think that at a certain point in time, women had power over men because women develop language skills sure, quicker right. than men do. Well, no, well, well, women do have power over men. That's the problem. No, they have power over men. If you pretend like women don't have power over men anyway, they do. They do. They got mad right now. They got mad power over men. Women control. Oh, they're about to have even more power. Man, like, man, well, this is a great time for me to be alive. Men, men have been castrated. You're, you're right, though. It men is. have been castrated. But let me finish this. And he that overcometh keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he will rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter, they shall be broken to shivers, mm. even as I received as my father. So we're going to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And we're gonna break all these heathens to pieces. Future prophecy. Now let's go in the present now. Okay, we're going to the present now. This is Matthew 24, and I'm gonna start at uh, okay, I'm gonna start at four. And, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ. Oh yeah, you got a lot of that. And shall deceive many. Oh, like you'll have a lot of people to try to tell you they know exactly when the Lord's coming back, mm -hmm. they give you a date. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You had the 2012 food. Why would the Lord ever give you that exact information? Because well, he, he don't know himself. Exactly. Well, you know, that's right here. That's uh, Well, let me just read this real quick. This is the 36th verse. But of that day and hours knoweth no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So tell me this, what do I tell my gay brother? Because I convinced my gay brother not to have children. You not ain't gonna, to, you not that to adopt children. You're not going to convince him of he, nothing. No, I convinced him not to even adopt children. I'm adopted. There's nothing. What? Your brother? Yes, my brother. Yeah, I just not well, our mother, our mother is a prostitute, so it makes sense why he hates women. Like, subconsciously, it makes sense why he has no desire to be with a woman whatsoever. All of our mothers are yeah, all of our mothers are prostitutes. Okay, well, my mother literally stands on a corner. Yeah. Your mother is not the same as my mother. How do you know that? Oh, oh, oh. Is your mother the same? My mom. Yours? Ooh, I ain't gonna go there. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, my mom, 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 my Given the fact that I am on Ohio State's campus, I cannot say the same for everyone else here. Right, so right. the fact that I can relate to you guys is something new for me because I cannot generally relate to anyone about that. Right, okay. That's yeah. good. Okay, let's go into this though. Oh, you got something? And um, deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. Right, now you was just talking. Can you turn that off? I don't... And that's what's pointed at us. I don't like it. He's not going to point it at you. But my voice is on it. It's, don't don't worry about you. that. This is just so brothers can learn. So he's bringing out the scriptures. This Where does that go? YouTube. To so our YouTube channel. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it, it, it ain't that many people watching. You got like... A, <laughs> how many, trust me, ain't nobody watching our videos. Like 50. Yeah, we might get 50 views Okay, each video. continue with what you're saying. <laughs> okay. And ye shall hear of wars 
Now the Lord is talking about the, those days that's coming, those the, the time of trouble that's coming. Okay, those last days. That's why you hear wars and rumors of war. That's all that's going on right now. U.S. and Russia. Yes. U.S. and Russia. U.S. and Iran. Uh, yes. Russia and Ukraine. Yes. Israel. Uh, Israel and Hezbollah. What about ISIS? <laughs> ISIS. Oh yeah, Israel attacking a new country every month. That's right. And then they always say, oh, they're terrorists. Just yesterday, just uh, them and Hezbollah just started shooting missiles at each other again. Okay, and okay. you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, World War Three, the War of Armageddon. Where World is War this? Where is this? This is the 24th chapter of Matthews. 24th, okay. Okay. Heavy stuff. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, uh, we're gonna have soon there's gonna be cannibalism out here when the economy oh, I believe it. when the economy collapses i keep telling people that i'm just like you think that you would not do a terrible thing to another human being wait till hunger sets in Ooh, right wee. and pestilences well, she gets it that's rare yeah so, and like, pestilences where are you, you know? guys from columbus where do you live in the gutter huh? <laughs> in the gutter we all over the place right? where the west side <laughs> What's funny? What's funny? Nah, what's what's, what's, what's your accent? <laughs> <laughs> he said, what's that? I can't even do it. He looked, I, I grew up on the south side though. We both grew up on the south side. Where you grew up? In the gutter. In the gutter, you guys yeah. all have yeah. what? Look, brand new ass boots. Oh yeah, look at my boots. I'm dirty though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm bumming right now. I don't believe it. I take pride in we my boots. We got cell phones. Look at them boots right there. You Look know, at them bad boys. Shoot night glasses. I can, I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> you my eyes. You're not under. I'm out the, I came out the gutter, trust me. You I might came have come out the gutter. The gutter but you're I grew not up in a family anymore. of five brothers, what four sisters. Whole, the whole country is a toilet. But, yeah, you're right. And everyone's a piece of shit, too. Well, pretty much. Exactly. Y exactly. Everyone is a piece of shit. Everyone. And, and as soon, a bunch of piece of shit, full of hypocrites. As soon as Tula's gonna get flushed. And it's it's, it's, al it's, it's, it's already been flushed. It's circling the drain. It's well, what's your advice flushed. for me? It's circling huh? the drain. What's your advice for me? You gotta have advice. What's your advice? I told you. you your advice I give to you is I get with a man you. of the Lord, baby. That's the only way yeah. you're getting out of here. Right. Get right. with a man of the Lord. Get with a man of the and Lord. all your past sins will be forgiven. Until you leave that man, then all them past really? sins. That's, <laughs> that's, gonna be, that's really all you can do. Until you leave that man, and then they go in the back. Wait, huh? You got different choices. You literally just said until you leave that man, and then they come back. If you leave that man, them sins come back. All right. Well, what if what if I'm talking to a guy now that? All right. You got a boyfriend? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, she don't know. No, listen, listen. Okay, listen. He was a cavalry scout. Oh, in the army, oh, in the oh, army, remember. right? Those are the first people. They're they're the eyes and ears. They they go in first. They okay. leave last. Okay. So like they tell the rest of the army where to attack. Okay. Where the enemy is. Intelligence. Right. Exactly. Okay. Very smart. He's in there now, right? No, he's not in there now because he got injured. Okay. He is going to school here now, but it's been a long roll. But it's been in like he's a very religious person. He has a tattoo of a cross on his arm, and he also uh, the first time he we went out, <laughs> what? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, nothing. What are you saying? No. You... You're shaking your well, head. Talk with your eyes. You're not saying words. The Bible says you're not allowed to have tattoos. That goes totally against the scripture. Are you really trying to tell me that you haven't gone against scripture ever in your life? Of course yeah, I have. Still so do. what's the point? Not it, willingly. This is the, to me, there's nothing more dumb. Yeah, and when you're in a very bad place, do you know that you're willingly choosing to do things that the scripture But actually, you know what? Do? Some people keep the law unknowingly because in their spirit because it's also serves it as a counter like it's counterproductive because you know what me convincing my brother to not have children to not adopt children meant me not showing to him that i believe in god it meant me being liberal it meant me being so you're a liberal no oh <laughs> i'm sorry i've been dealing with liberal lunatics all night so. okay well i mean like the idea behind the whole thing giving a helping hand so like yes i'm giving a helping hand but i'm not i believe family comes first i believe like like children should have a mother and a father I, it's not i'm not mm -hmm. a live i mean my views are very independent on, i got you. they're very circumstantial so it's but like to accomplish those things like i had to do other things to get that done is that not right 
Would you rather my brother raise children? I don't know, that's just, if you want to be a homo, you let him be a homo. So you think, you, should, do about it. you think you should adopt children and raise them? Honestly, no. Morally, no. And that's what I'm saying. Morally, so, no. So is, is, is me claiming to be a liberal bad if it is, in the end, justifies him not raising children? Huh? What? Huh? It's not confusing. <laughs> it's not confusing. It's not confusing. I don't know. Look, I ain't gonna... We, we curse out homosexuals. Laborers are all about gay people having children. Mm, yeah, that, rights, that's why they all into stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the I mean, obviously you're not supposed well, to be. Well, then how did I convince him not to do it? How you can't? He can't. He's, he's I got did. his own mind. He, he literally mind. told me he's not gonna have children well, now. That's just what he's telling you. That don't mean nothing. I mean, because in this country they can do whatever he wants to do. There's nothing you can do about it. Because everybody is free. It's free. Yeah, you're right. And it's free. wrong. Because freedom, like equality without freedom, is better than freedom without equality. It's I don't not, believe in equality. It's, well, it's, it's never. I mean, it's it's not a real thing. People are never equal. Men and women, yeah, not equal. It's like we're sur we are programmed to survive, to compete, not to be equal. Did you know? You know, Thomas Jefferson said all men are created equal, but he didn't even believe in the Bible. He yeah, said, Abraham said, Lincoln, like. He's a weirdo. <laughs> He was a weirdo. Why? He was a, Jew, he was a Jewish rat. Yeah, he was a Jewish rat. He didn't believe in slavery, but he was a slave. Oh, that ain't he didn't true. like that ain't slave. True. That ain't no, Abraham true. Lincoln said if uh, he could keep slavery legal and keep the union intact. No, the only reason he didn't like slavery is because his father used him as a slave. And uh -huh. then he still uh -huh. didn't believe in black uh -huh. rights. He didn't care about black people. He, he, at wanted, all. he wanted. That ain't true. Abraham Lincoln was trying to repatriate black people to Africa. He was. Abraham, and actually, the slaves were never free. They were emancipated. No, exactly. They right. were emancipated. I mean, that's why Abraham Lincoln is famous. You know what emancipation means? Emancipation. You know what emancipation means? Literally? Yeah. The slaves were not liberated. They were emancipated. Okay, now let's go into the word. Why did they not call it the liberation of the slaves? Right, right. That's a good question, right? Yeah. Any other time slaves were freed, it was a liberation. He didn't actually care about slaves, I know that. He didn't give a shit no, about no. Right. I know that. He was a murderer. He was a businessman. Yeah, businessman. He's a devil. He was, a, he was also taking mercury. He's a cocksucker. He, yeah, he was actually. He, he actually sucked cock. cock. He sucks cock. He actually sucked cock. <laughs> <laughs> he actually sucked. Just like George Washington sucked cock. Yep. <laughs> I mean, they don't, put, they don't put it in the history books. But you know through, through the rituals, yeah, through the, through the he's rituals, a he's a he was a Freemason. Just like Barack Obama and stuff. He fucked, he, he, he put his, in, he inserted his penis okay. into another man's anal Can hole. I tell you this though? So you're worried about wars happening and you're worried about... No, we don't worry about, worry about that. We don't worry about none of that. We don't worry about nothing. We hope that happens right here, right now. Right now, Why? that's right. Because it's going to bring the kingdom in. The sooner the kingdom will be here. We pray for destruction. This, this world can't exist. When the kingdom of heaven is existing, we don't, we don't want victims? this. Shit, huh? What if you're one of the victims? Well, as long as the kingdom's here. As long as the kingdom's here. I don't here. believe that because you're not programmed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all programmed. Listen. No, you're programmed to survive. You're programmed to protect your that's, singular life. That's why we are here doing this to survive. This to defeat survive. death. And this may we're help you to defeat death. intellectually, this but I don't believe that that's what your core would say if you were the one on the chopping block. I don't believe that for a fucking hey, second. Chop my head off as long as the kingdom come. <laughs> we're going to come back in the reincarnation. As long as the king kingdom come. We'll come right back in the chop reincarnation. Chop my head off. Because it's going to come down to that. You it's yeah. it's going to come down to that. You can't kill us. If you don't take that mark. It's going to come down to that. that Some chip. of the brothers going to lose their heads. It happened in the past. You had the Roman emperor. Well, uh, fed Christians to the lions. Burn them out, use uh, people's torches, chop their heads off. Skin. They skin brothers alive. They alive. kill you. They, they, they would tell you that, they would tell you that. Alive. Uh, uh, I don't need a descriptive. You know, that's a, that's um, a, that's an American way, torture. They, they would tell you to renounce the Lord or we're going to kill your face off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They do stuff. It's already been done. They, you got them doing, ICE is doing it right now in the Middle East. And they're backed by the U.S. government. So soon they're they going to start, they're going to start putting people to death here in America. That's what the guillotines are for. I mean, I mean, I know it'll happen very soon because it's already happening. It's already, it's the amount of time. Everyone here is so ignorant. They don't care about anything. They care about 
eating fucking McDonald's and Fake food. watching Netflix Fake food. and doing nothing. Yeah, watching Netflix, that's what they do now. Netflix and here, here it is, they got the internet, they just turned the internet into TV. Yep, yep. sure do. Exactly. That, that, is, that is their reality. That is retarded. Watching Netflix and porn. <laughs> yeah, Netflix and porn. Bestiality <laughs> sex. <laughs> no, that's the American way. That is the American Watching way. Watching bestiality. Oh, I got a scripture. Let me get this scripture. A grown ass man walk, sitting in front of a computer beating off uh, watching bestiality. Okay. <laughs> That's the American way. It's your freedom. You can do all whatever the fuck you want to do. And here's the internet has so much knowledge. It's, got, it's just an endless plethora yeah, of Yeah, but nobody's using knowledge. it to do the right thing. Well, it's not meant for everyone. It's only meant for the men of the Lord. Because it's scriptural. The internet is in the Bible. Did you know that? Yeah. The internet is in the Bible. Yeah, I know that. How do you know that? I have the Bible on my phone. But how do you know that though? What scriptures that told you that the internet is in the Bible? No, I don't, okay, I don't know that. There you go. I do though. I don't need to know a specific scripture yeah, to know, know that. you do know, you do need to I'm know. I'm barely enough of an intuitive person that I know enough about the world and the Bible and people and how they react and their behaviors to know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, and how they're going to react. Yeah, but it's going to happen well, in your so we use this, this I know it's coming. going to happen in my life, so I don't want to be live anymore. Let me read the scripture real quick, though. Well, you're right, though. You've only been in your nature, because it's not for, it's not in a woman's nature to want destruction and Because a, wo a woman's war. nature no, is the care I'm, I'm and the nurture. Right, yeah. A feminist nature. The, right. the feed. Okay, a woman's well, nature is the feed. you grow up watching your father beat your mother to shreds, well, you're shit, violent I, I, by nature. I grew up watching that. Yeah, so did I. I grew up watching I have very violent but then, tendencies, but, look, but I know better now. Then I found out my mom, my, my mom was getting her ass whooped because it was her fault, which she was causing it all through adultery. Yeah, adultery. But we grew up thinking, oh, my dad is mean and evil. Mom, I feel, realized, realized my dad wasn't a punk. No, both of my parents, <laughs> both of my parents were equally evil. Well, we do have a lot of that. But let me read this. Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And that's America, that sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Now that's the Lord speaking. He said he's gonna destroy America off the face of the earth. And you can't say this ain't the sinful kingdom. When something is destroyed off the face of the earth, that means it will not exist again. I know. He said, saving, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Great Americans, Save right? The Lord. Yeah. Great Americans, yeah. right? Death to America, fool. We got the key scripture right now. Read. Yeah. 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 Like mom and dad are paying the bill. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. Privilege, and that's that's who is going to hurt the most when all this happens. Is the privileged people of the world. Let me and read the rest of this. Majority of the people in this Let's, country. Let me read the rest of this. It says, "All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword." Ooh. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that modern day sword. The modern day sword. Well, you got it. That comes in many. Which is what? The nuclear missiles. Oh, it's not a fucking sword. Missile. It is not a fucking sword. Hey, it's it's, 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 it's Iskander missiles. Cobalt <laughs> <laughs> ills. <laughs> she funny. She <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have a man, girl. Lord, it's like fucking if machetes. It's like guns, bombs. It's like it'll blow your fucking head off. Like. Okay, I got a script for that. You don't, you don't laugh at the missiles, huh? I'm not laughing at it. I'm laughing at this conversation. No, you got to laugh at the missiles. Got him to come back. Got him to come back. What's up, great Americans? They want to talk right here to curse you out. <laughs> and tell you that your kingdom is going to be destroyed. Y'all love America? <laughs> your, your kingdom is going to be destroyed. <laughs> you love America? Y'all love America, right? You love America? <laughs> Y'all love America? What, what do you think is going to happen in the next 15 years? Let me ask you that. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna last? Thirty. Y'all, no. America. Yes. Oh, what, what, no. what you think the world is gonna look like in what is, five, yeah. five years? Five no. years. Yeah, five years. I don't know. A white president. A white president. Hey, I got a hair. Look, I got a suit. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. I'm gonna you break your heart if Obama stays in office. Hey, there you go, Mitt Romney's son, right here. Right. Hey, listen to this. This is y'all's future. This is y'all's future. Psalms 11 and 6. And upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. 
of their cup. That's so you like violence. Y'all gonna eat missiles. <laughs> when it starts raining missiles, y'all all gonna eat missiles. Don't you know, all Obama what's has to point? do is declare what's the an of emergency. What's the point of you guys right now? Y'all your destruction. We're just telling y'all the destruction. Can remain in office. You're just telling us what's you happening. That? So you can teach your elect. <laughs> teach him what? Yeah, don't be yeah, surprised elect. she's still in office five the years. The chosen. Now. What does that mean? Oh, she's seen the what's chosen. going on in the world the right now. That's, the the chosen as people that's supposed to be in this truth. Is that right now, the Bible? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Kind of. Oh, man. You see this ISIS bullshit going around, right? Yeah. And they talking this about stolen nukes, plutonium coming up missing, dirty bombs here and there. They're, you know, you're just hearing this every once in a while. Now, what happens when there's another attack on America like 9-11? What, what happens? happens when you question the integrity of these people? This whole country is going to be shut down. They're They're gonna gonna shut down. The whole country is going to, and that's what's going to happen here. There's going to be multiple attacks on this sorry ass country. Is this about politics or is it a belief? It's no, it's, it's scriptural. It's scriptural. Communicate in a way that you can understand. They can understand. We do. Yeah, we are Christians and we, yeah. Yeah, what? We can't help them with the house of Esau. Y'all know all the house of Esau. Oh, hell yeah. Christ, the people who follow Christ. Jesus Christ as their savior. There's only certain people the that do he, He's not there. Yeah. Yeah. Only a small well, number. Small number. You know, why would he just, everybody, uh, why would he, everybody, huh? Why would he create? Where, where's that in the Bible? He gives everyone a chance. A chance, huh? Hey, did, did, show me the scripture say everybody came came for these people here. And I had to show me the scripture where Jesus said, you all get a chance. I did. Is that what? What is that, Matthew? Are you running for? No, no, no. What are you running for? Are you running for? What are you running for? Let's this question. Let's this question. Hey, tell me what this means. You said Jesus came for everybody, right? You just told you have a man. Matthew 15 and 24. There ain't no such thing as just enough. You got a man or you don't have a man. Hold on a second. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What does that mean? If the Lord came for everybody, why come he said he only came for Israel? He didn't say that. I just read it, bro. You can't take stuff out of I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, I'm taking out of context, am I? Let me read another one. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way the Gentiles. He said, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You're all going to be destroyed. You're going into slavery. You're going to be my servant. You gonna be working in the field, boy. Burn off like a little bitch. You going into slavery, Esau? You bunch of faggots. Live it up, bitch. And that's why you aren't right now. So what are you about it? You can't do nothing about it. I ain't, I, I'm not gonna. I can't teach you how to be a better adulteress. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I can't teach you. What the hell is y'all talking about? We're way out there, man. We way out there. We way out there, man. Way out there, man. It's been a crazy Love day that. today. Yeah, oh yeah. man, it's been fun though. I just talked to the whole house of Esau. The whole house. They had, that was right, like a so whole tribe of Esau so right my there. My intentions yeah, yeah. with him are different than, I don't, I don't strictly just want somebody for sexual purposes because that's, I mean, like I could do that on my own. I don't, oh, I don't man. need that. You do need that. For physical reasons? I mean, everyone needs, wants that physical. Yeah, and then everyone what happens does. when your libido fades? Your libido. Because that drops too soon when you get older Wait, and you have kids. Oh, he's an older guy. He's like 28. Oh, they do? That's a young guy. <laughs> not old. That's young. I'm saying when I'm older. How are you? 21, 20. 21. I am. A kid, a baby. I'm not a, that's unfair. She got okay, a, old woman. She got a little more sense than these other hoes. You do though, I have to admit, you do. <laughs> you do, you got more sense. <laughs> Way more. You seem to know, you seem to have a little bit. I don't give it too much credit more, though. <laughs> you have more you know foundation of that, that common sense. You seem to be tapping into it a little bit, you know? Yeah, like well, she's seeing the symbolism in the walls and shit. You're aware of something's going on. Yeah, Most people I know don't a see lot that. Is going on because I've experienced enough corruption in my life to understand that authority figures do not give a shit about anyone but themselves. Hello. What's the number one killer of humans in uh, history? The demo side, death by government. Yeah, I don't trust the government. The go I, never I think in the 20th century alone, the government uh, governments have killed like 200 million or something. Well, they have to. I mean, so there's crazy. a great thing for population control. In the United States, there's TV shows where people have fucking 19 children. Why? You cannot 
appropriately and effectively raised 19 children. Oh, I don't believe that. TV shows are 19 children. Yes, there's 19 and counting. What is that? It's 19 and counting. Some I don't watch TV, shit. so I don't shit. know. I, well, I stopped watching it after that. I don't know. But there's nothing wrong with having that's a beautiful thing actually having 19 children. That, that's an awesome thing. Hell yeah. I, I, I you know what? I've studied a lot about childhood development because of my past. And yeah. Children, whether, regardless, if the entire society was the same as that, it would be effective, but it's not. So the fact that 19 children have to share two parents. No, they don't. <laughs> Man can't have more than one woman. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right on. You can't. That's good point. A man can have as many women as he wants, but a woman can only have one man. Why? Because that's just the way it is. Yeah, you become polluted, and, and yeah. then diseases start to brew up inside that little what? kitty cat. Because a man and it starts to. Cat? What? 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 Oh, Fuck I'm, off. Well, I'm not gonna say pussy and coochie and. You are though. Let me ask you a question. How many so women on the earth? Be better than because well, I've I'm, talked to many men. I'm trying to I've be. I've talked to many men who speak scripture who do not say the word pussy, who do not say kitty cat. That's because they're homosexual. They do not say <laughs> that. Because they're faggots. They are pussies. And they also don't. And say they're, they're, effemin faggots. they're effeminate. They're not real men of the Lord. They're not real men of the Lord. They're faggots and bitches. And <laughs> they're just words. We're They're real men. Words. We're real men. See, the Bible is a book for real men, not for little limp wristed right, right. weaklings like those little weaklings that came up here. Handing out chocolate kisses. We could have just, I, I could have just crushed them with one hand. I could have crushed them with one finger. Exactly. They're weaklings. That's right. The Lord ain't dealing with no weak bitch. All right. Well, it was great. I'm actually freezing, so I need to go and eat food. I hate this nation, will man. You shake my, will you actually shake I my hand? I just shook your hand. That was not a firm shake. That was like a. But you're a what? girl. Oh, exactly. The words that were about to I was like, that was a year of woman shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, hey, besides, you, you got a man. Well, I can't. You know what? I should commit adultery. I have fought my way every single day to get to where I am today. And that is more than any other woman who has been in my place. And the fact that you shake my hand with disrespect is oh, insulting. Shit. And but I you, am but, very annoyed by it. You have a man. So me shaking your hand, yeah, that's adultery. <laughs> the hell just happened? I didn't know where she was going with it because she was like, like she was, was, didn't know who she wanted to rap to, and it was like she was actually looking for a ways how she can be an adulteress, man. She was, yeah, she's she was looking at, she was looking in your eyes, and looking in my eyes. Didn't know whose eyes she wanted to look at. I think she wanted us to run a goddamn train on her. Where we took the Bukaki? <laughs> <laughs> she got video. Hey man, she was being cool to the. I had no interest in that bitch. No, nah, she seemed cool, but she tells us she got a dude. I'm not gonna right, sit right, there and try right, and talk. Right, That's right, adultery, right, man. Right, right. You right. can't, it's like, people don't get it. It's like, I don't want to sit here and I'm not, it's like I could shake her hand and my spirit again, she's like feeling her. So I get excited when I touch a woman. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like those soft ass hands and shit. Like, yeah. I'm, I cut that off. I hate this. It's a sorry ass oh, nation, yeah. man. Right. It's a sorry ass nation, man. Women